This is Kano Hospital at the end of 2011. The health situation is desperate. Diarrheas, respiratory infections and malaria kill 35 children every day. This is Kano two years later and the situation is even worse. A major humanitarian emergency is now compounded by conflict with dire consequences for the people. So what's happened in the past year? A succession of particularly harrowing events characterized by tensions, fighting between armed groups and inter-community, inter-ethnic and religious conflict. We've seen patients, including women and children, with injuries attesting to an unbearable and overwhelming thirst to kill. The teams in the field, as well as myself, we've been shocked to the core. In a report published on the 19th of March, MSF denounced a year of escalating violence. Abuses committed by Seleka rebels during their offensive and taking of power in 2013. And in retaliation, the attack on Bongi by anti-Balaka forces in December 13 and the atrocities committed against Muslims associated with the former Seleka rebels and their subsequent mass exodus to neighboring countries. The chaos, further exacerbated by banditry, now affects everyone, in Bongi and throughout the country. We now find ourselves in a quite improbable situation in many parts of the country, with people enclaved and protected by the French military operation Sangaris, or African Union MISCA, and then surrounded by the anti balaka There's an attempt to disarm, but it's only half working. And what we see, for example, in Carnou, are men getting killed as soon as they leave the protection of the church compound. There is nothing as yet to suggest that the situation is going to improve. The emergency continues, as we saw during the wave of violent clashes in Bongi at the end of March. In just two days, MSF treated around 30 casualties. Four were children and 16 were women.